Good morning. It's time now for Coach's Corner, live from McDonald's on Madison's Hilltop. I'm Tim Torrance. We do it every Saturday morning from the McDonald's across from the Madison High School. Today we're going to talk girls basketball. Southwestern Lady Rebel coach Devin Brierley in with us today. Talk about the season, a very good season so far. Uh, come into uh, today when we're recording this, Coach, at 8-2. and two. First off, good morning to you. Good morning, Tim. How is uh, how's the season going? And I know it's a loaded question at 8-2. and two. It's got to be going pretty good. Yeah, it is. Uh, we're having a lot of fun. Uh, we're working together, uh, just trying to uh, improve and get better every day. But, yeah, we're certainly not complaining at 8-2. and two. Um, But, you know, we, we know that we still have work to do and, sure. and goals to achieve. So... You're in your third season, 26 and 35. Let's go back and reflect not only on last season, but let's reflect on the on the last couple. Uh, eight and 17 a year ago, uh, first season at, at 10 and 16. Um, kind of your your program where you were at, where you're at now. Yeah, you know when uh, when we first came in, we had a lot of uh, implementing uh, new stuff and, and just kind of the way that we wanted sure. to run our program, and so trying to do that and um, teach the game of basketball and um, you know put our expectations and just our culture and everything in place um, was a lot. And right. so, um, but you know our first season, all of our seasons have been enjoyable, sure. and I think that has a lot to do with the kind of kids that we have at Southwestern um, and. But definitely, I mean, you know, we have seen improvement from year to year. Um, and I think that just has to do with time. Um, you know, we've had time to uh, work on the things that we wanted to implement. And um, the kids have, have really done a good job at um, knowing the way we want to play and, and taking that to heart and uh, really working at that every day. So, you know, we, we've made lots of improvements. Um, Again, you know, we still have areas that we can improve in, but right, uh, right now we're pleased at where we're at. Building a program for any coach, and I don't care what kind of talent or athletic ability your team has, but building a program where everybody's on the same page with a different coach coming in, it, it takes time. Yeah, it does. And, um, you know, we've had some changes in our coaching staff as well. Um, but, uh, you know, the kids that are here now um, have had two plus years of experience right. with us. And I think that is really. Um, paying dividends this year um, but yeah you know we, we knew at the beginning you know when we came in when I took over a couple years ago that it was going to be a process and that it probably wouldn't be until the third or fourth year sure. or so um, until we started to see things that we wanted to see and knew we would you know expected right. to see so um, now that we're here like I said we think you know um, just just keep at it and uh, keep doing things, trying to do things the right way, right. and hopefully we'll continue on the upward swing. How much have you grown as a varsity coach in two-plus seasons? Uh, I, I would say a lot, um, you know, and I think that has to do with my coaching staff sure. and, again, my players. You right. know, it makes it easy for me and fun for me when I'm coaching kids that I enjoy to be – you know to be around they're good kids they work hard um, they want to learn they want to win and you know my coaching staff um, is is loyal is dedicated is committed and mm -hmm. and you know we, we're all competitors we're all winners right. and um, but individually uh, just the experience you know has um, I've learned a ton uh, but I think honestly more what I've learned the most is it's not necessarily about basketball right you know, it's yeah. about relationships sure. and and creating uh, memories for the kids. But um, we're doing a little bit of both. And you mentioned that because in 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 a coach's mind, it's it's not always about on the court on the field. It's about what happens off too. Because when you spend time together as much as you do with with your team, they become they quickly become part of your family. Yeah, you know, I always joke that um, I've got 16 teenagers, um, and you know, a lot of the times it feels that way. But um, I would I really wouldn't have it any other way. And um, you know, like I said, I am a competitor, and I like to win. And mm -hmm. um, I'm glad that we're winning right now. Well, that always helps. <laughs> right, but. Um, but I know what the bigger picture is, and, and we try to, um, you know, do a lot of things with the kids, and so th they'll be able to hang on to that. When you when you 
when you start to build a program and, and you, you start putting pieces together, and again, I've talked to coaches for years, and it's like a, it never it never progresses at the speed that I want it to. It's always slower. We always – but you have to – as much as you teach, you have to understand kids are going to make mistakes, and they almost have to. Right. Yeah, and we do understand that, you know, um, some of our experienced players are still making mistakes sure. that, you know, we – have tried to correct for a year now right but, um, you know I, I'm well aware of that and, and you know if I see that in a game or, or whenever um, I try not to have a short leash sure because um, I don't want my kids to be fearful of that right um, so I let them work through their mistakes and um, you know and they know what they are but um, I know that they're also willing to fix those as well. So it's just a matter of, you know, getting back in the gym and, and getting better. We've talked about this on this program and off the program as well, but you as a player opposed to you as a coach, you, you can't go out there and play for them, but you have to convey to them how you want them to play. Yes. Challenge. Yes, definitely. <laughs> um <laughs> Yeah, and, and they know what my expectations are. Right. And, but, you know, I, whether they make mistakes or not, um, our team plays so hard. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, they fight and, and they never give up. And so, you know, you got to look past some of those mistakes because of the effort that they're given. You right. know, we've had so many compliments from, from outsiders on how hard our team plays. And that's one of the best compliments sure. you can have, you know. So, um, but yeah, you know, it is challenging for me at times. But again, you know, everybody's different. Um, and, but I think, like I said, our kids are improving right. and um, they're, they're getting the hang of things. You went through uh, last season at 8-17, and 17, uh, lost to South Ripley in the sectional. When the season's over with, what's your mindset on moving forward? What do you need to do? After this season? Yeah, after this last season. After last season. Well, um, you know, I, I knew that um, with our lineup that we were going to have to um, change our style of play a little bit. Sure. Um, so, you know, we've done some things on the defensive end a little differently um, and on the offensive end, too. You know, we're trying to play a little quicker. Um, but, you know, we, we just um, – we knew that this, during the summer that we had to continue to build upon our offenses mm -hmm. and our defenses, sure. and so we did that. Um, but you know, the summer was also um, letting the kids play together, you right. know, because uh, we were getting fully back. Um, you know, we we were going to see um, how all of the pieces fit together, mm -hmm. and so. Um, but a lot of individual stuff too. You know, we, we still um, are big on individual development, and so after season is a great time to do that. Do you spend uh, much time in the weight room? We do. Um, we've made uh, a big improvement this year in the weight room, um, and then we also do, um, you know, some strengthening and conditioning stuff with uh, bands and things like that. So, and I do think that's paid a difference. Um, I think we're stronger with the ball. Um, I think that, uh, you know, with our legs and stuff. I mean, we've played two overtime games, right. and. and um, I'm, I'm going seven, maybe eight deep, right. um, but seven at the most. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, these kids are playing a lot of minutes, and um, but they've been able to, to hold up in those games. When you, and to take that a step further, when you have a situation like that where you're only going too deep on the bench, um, you expect kids to be on the floor, which means they've, they've got to stay out of foul trouble. Yes, and a couple games we've had issues with that, mm -hmm. um, but um, for the most part, we, we've we've been really good, and you know that's hard because the style of basketball that we play, right. you're foul prone. Sure. Because we play really fast, we we play really hard. We're trying to create chaos, um, but we've had a few games where um, you know Bella's fouled out, um, Ashton's fouled out, but the thing is 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 we've still come on top in those games and that tells me you know that we're finding ways to win right you know and so um been really pleased with that let's go and reflect on this season eight and two on the season it's got to feel good to get off to a really good start and as you mentioned earlier to find a way to win 
Yeah, you know, like I said earlier, we're really pleased with eight and two. Um, you know, and, and we've we've had high expectations um, as a team. Mm -hmm. You know, we met before the season and talked about what our team expectations were going to be, and um, we're heading in the right direction. Yeah. And um, you know, heading. In, in to achieve some of those goals but yeah I mean we're really pleased but we also know that we still have work to do and um, you know it's a long season right and um, you know we we want to be in the same spot as we are at the beginning of the season as sure. we are at the end of the season you lost to to Henryville first game of the season 44 36 kind of take me back to your thoughts after the Henryville game and, and what you saw from your team kind of moving forward yeah, you know, we were really frustrated um, after the Henryville game, sure. um, and and that was all of us. You know, that that's right. not just coaches, but because we knew um, that we were much better than what we showed, um, and that next day right. we go out and, and beat Crothersville right. by a pretty yeah. good amount, and yeah. they're a good team. Right. So you know, we were frustrated with that, but um, you know, I, I think that left a bad taste in our mouth, and. Um, you know, we, we just knew that we had to be better, mm -hmm. you know, and, and we wanted to be better. Sure. And so um, we, we've just kind of taken that mindset, I think, and um, I, I don't think these kids want to lose, which right. is good, right. you know. Um, and so uh, we're really running with that and, you know, finding every which way to win ball games. And so um, it's been really it's been really fun. It's been really fun to watch. It's been really fun to coach. Right. Um, our energy levels and practice and at games. Games is just um, it, it's where it needs to be. Winning is contagious, mm -hmm. obviously, um, and and to, to it's easy to lose. It's hard to work to win. They have to have the mindset to be able to understand how that works. Yeah, and they have, I think, you know, because uh, we've had a lot of close games this season so far, mm -hmm. and um, you know, all of the kids uh, have have worked and fought and grinded it out. You know, we talk all the time about how we're not a home run hitting team, right? You know, and and we have to grind every possession out mm -hmm. defensively and offensively, and that's what they've done right. and you know that's huge for them you know and, and it built some confidence that we've needed you mm -hmm. know um, and, and we've struggled with that and I and winning does help with that sure um, but it, it also helps that that we have seen improvements in practice and we see them paying off in right. games mm -hmm. you know so being able to translate that from practice to games is huge. Are you a coach that, that has the mindset we, we play like we practice? Absolutely. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, and we talk about that a lot, um, you know, especially uh, the day before a game, you mm. know, preparing for our next opponent, mm. you know, we really stress that. Um, and so, uh, that, that, and the kids, get, the kids have taken that to heart, sure. you know, I think most of our practices this year, um, you know, ha have been focused mm. and um, we've gotten through things that we need to get through and we've been able to follow game plans. So, uh, been really pleased with their energy and their focus so far you you dropped the decision to Henryville to open the season then you rattled off five straight wins Crothersville Oldenburg West Washington uh, in overtime North Decatur and South Dearborn you dropped the decision to Madison on Thanksgiving Eve and then three in a row Shaw Milan uh, in overtime in New Washington this past Thursday so a, a five game winning streak now on a three game winning streak um, those winning streaks are kind of nice to be involved with yeah they are and um, you know but but we have to understand that we can't we can't be content sure you know and so um, that's another thing that we're really stressing too is yes it feels great winning and it's fun and, and but we we still have to come to practice to every day and mm -hmm. work and we still have to be dialed in when it comes to game day um, because you know we don't want to lose and, right. and we want to keep on this winning streak and and to do that you know you you have to be prepared to do that right. and so um, you know we talk about that a lot and like I said I think the kids have um, with it being their third year mm -hmm. and, and um, them playing together, you know, and us being together for this long, they understand more of what it takes in order to right. prepare for games and, and pull out games. Sure. So. 
you, you, you mentioned a couple times about finding ways to win. Um, you don't have a, a team that's chocked full of three-point shooters. You don't have a, a dominant inside presence. You've got a little mix of everything. Mm -hmm. How hard is that for, for opponents to prepare for you? I think it's tough um, because, you know, when you look at our roster, the first thing I think that stands out is we don't have anybody over like 5'9". Right. Um, but, you know, I think it makes – I think we're hard to guard because we're so quick and we're sure. so athletic. Um, but I think a big thing for us has been defense. Um, and even though we don't have – any sort of height we play bigger than what we are right um, and we play quick and you know when when you face some teams with bigs they might not be as quick as you and right. so we use that to our advantage um, but I do think it, it makes it difficult for people to to kind of plan for us because um, you know we we can use our kids in several different ways and um, and you know we've and they understand that too you know right. they they understand now that they can't be one dimensional. Right. Um, you know, they've got to be able to do several different things um, in order for us to be successful. And well, so we've and, done that. And, and two, and, and you take somebody like Bella, we'll talk to her in just a minute. She, she can shoot to three, she can play inside, uh, she can rebound, she can dribble the basketball. I mean, that's a multi dimensional player. Uh, you don't those kind of players they're not that common yeah so when you get one like that or you get a group of like that hey you can do a lot of things with them yeah and in you know Bella uses that to her advantage mm -hmm. all the time and um, and, and we do have more of those um, it's just a matter of, of getting it from them but yeah I mean right. we do have several multi-dimensional players it's just a matter of them realizing that right. and um, you know focusing on uh, uh, other areas sure you know and so um, but I do think that they have kind of realized that mm -hmm. and, and um, you know know that okay I have to do this this and this right in order for us to be successful um, and because they know it's going to take every single person on our team to be successful not just one or two and and two you, you've won a couple of overtime games so apparently the team is realizing we don't need to panic we just need to play yes and, and, and that has been an area of growth for us because mm -hmm. um, we have not seen that before sure. um, and, and you know we're really excited about that because that shows some maturity um, and you know we're going to need that in big time games um, you know in sectional sure. play and so um, you know in, in that I think a lot of it has come from them too you know we've had uh, great leadership especially in those close games and overtime games where um, you know some of our uh, some of our players who have done a lot of things in those games have fouled out right but they're still kind of coaching from the bench mm -hmm. and being supportive and, and um, motivating people and so you can tell that they're all on the same page and working together right and um, you know so just really pleased honestly with yeah. our camaraderie yeah. and um, you know how we play together and how hard we play uh, numbers wise you, you got you got plenty of players you need some more players what, what's your numbers look like um, we we always say we could use some more oh, players absolutely uh, every coach does <laughs> but um, you know we, we've got we've got 15 on the team right now mm -hmm. um, we uh, our JV team is struggling with some injuries but um, they're on the mend so sure. um, you know in, in our varsity squad you know we dress 10 and we go at least seven deep um, s sometimes only six deep but sometimes eight deep right. so um, but yeah we always say you know we could use some more players um, but I think for right now you know we're working yeah. with what we got yeah and um, the kids understand that they're going to have to be in shape and they're going to have to take care of their bodies right. and you know they're going to have to do things that maybe they normally wouldn't have to do right in order for our team to be successful coach one true senior on your squad bella markham talk a little about your senior yeah bella's um 
probably one of our hardest workers. Um, she's really stepped into her role as, as the um, lone senior, mm -hmm. and um, you know she brings energy every day to practice. Um, she's uh, on the floor all the time in practice and in games. Mm -hmm. um, makes all the hustle plays um you know doesn't leave an ounce in the tank and right. so um she really leads by example mm -hmm. um and so you know we're just really proud of, of what she what she's done and um how she gets our team fired up and the energy that she brings um does a lot of good things for us mm -hmm. um like you mentioned earlier you know multi-dimensional sure. um and so you know, we, we definitely couldn't do what we do without her, mm -hmm. and so really glad to have her. You you take somebody like this that, that can do things, um, on a lot of things on the floor, uh, and, and one of those, other than physical, is being a leader. Mm -hmm. um, and, and to be a leader, it's that's not an easy thing to do for a senior. Yeah, and, you know, Bella's really good about um, – being honest with our team when we're not playing as hard as we can play sure. uh, because you know she understands that how hard you need to play in order to to be successful mm -hmm. and so um, she does a really good job of kind of keeping keeping our team in check mm -hmm. in regards to that and so um, having that come from a senior is right. huge right you you look at, at at her skills over the past now two and a half into the third season how have they improved Oh, tremendously. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I think, and, and that shows in, in you know the the minutes per game that she's played mm -hmm. from when she started to now. Right. Um, you know, there's there's times where we feel like we can't take her off the floor. Sure. You know, and no matter how tired she is, right, it right. doesn't matter. Right. You know, but um, no, I, I think they've been improved tremendously. But I think that's a credit to how hard she works mm -hmm. and how much she cares. Right. All right, Melly, you're up. Pick up the mic. Good morning. Good morning. You got your McDonald's breakfast, so you're good to go today. So I'm very good to go. Life is good indeed. Um. How long have you played basketball? How many years? When did you start? Um, I, I was in third grade, pretty positive, over at the EL1C League. All right. Great league. Um, why, did, why did you decide to play basketball? Um, I'm a very aggressive person, mm -hmm. physically and mentally, uh -huh. so it was kind of my sport. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You, you enjoy playing? Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. it's, it's definitely a stress reliever. What's, what's the biggest challenge for playing basketball? Um... Probably just the will to get up and do it every day. Mm -hmm. You know, you got to get in the gym. You got to get shots up. Your body, you don't want to do it, but right. it's it's definitely a mind game and physical game. So you just gotta you gotta want to do it no matter what. What's your best part of your basketball game? What do you do well? Um, probably moving on airtime. You know, mm -hmm. you got to see the pass before it's gonna happen. You got to read the def you got to read the eyes. Like yeah, you got to know the next play before it's happening. Do you like offense or defense better? That's a hard question. Mm. I don't like defense, but I'm good at it. Mm -hmm. Offense is much easier unless I'm not hitting. So it's kind of like a right. mix in between. I like mm, – what's the word I'm trying to think of? <laughs> like, you know, you're going up and down. The, the, no. the transition? Yeah, the transition. That's probably the best part. Yeah. Uh, defense then it's hard to play defense why is it hard to play defense or why do you why do you not like playing defense normally I'm about four or five inches shorter than the people <laughs> I'm guarding um, but other than that I mean a lot of um, players underestimate me mm -hmm. you know but it's honestly it's a mind game because if they're coming at you, you know, you got to take a charge. Like, right. if they're trying to get the pass in, you got to get around them so you can get that pass. But other than that, probably just being short, <laughs> that's a big part of it, you know. <laughs> people reaching over me to get the ball, you know, you got to make sure you box them out. Right. Um, is there something about the game or, or your, your game that you really like better than anything else that you do? I haven't I haven't seen it for a while, but after this year, I'm like, okay, I really, my hustle probably, mm -hmm. you know, the effort I give, you know, 
balls going down the floor, you're on the opposite side of the floor, you're sprinting, you're diving, you're trying to save that ball, you know. Mm -hmm. It's just those hustle plays that, you know, get your team in a better situation to score the ball. Um, and, and being the lone senior, does that put any extra pressure on you? Oh, it definitely does. You know, you got people looking up to you, your team, even like eighth grade, seventh grade, all the little lady rebels. Yeah. You know, they're coming up to you after the game like you played good, and you know. You got to be an example on and off the floor. Like even at school, you know, mm -hmm. you're not you're not going to want to be cussing in the hallway. You got to right. make sure you're doing good in school. You know, doing all your homework. They look up to that, so right. you got to be that leader. Absolutely. Uh, uh, question was outlook for the team for the rest of the season. I'm pretty excited. I think what we have right now, mm -hmm. we've understand. It was pretty good this the beginning of the year, but later the last couple of games, we understand now that we actually have to play as one. Like we can't just say it, but we understand it now. And I think that was, um, I think we showed that during the Milan game. Sure. You know, when me and Ashton both fouled out. You know, Ellie, Abby, Izzy, everyone on the floor, Trinity, they all hit shots. It wasn't just one person doing right. it all. So I think I think we definitely understand that that's that's the big part. Playing as one. Do you have uh, plans after high school yet? I am. I'm gonna go to college, University of South Florida. Oh wow. Yep. That's a good spot. Yep, it is. Um, for business management, I don't know if I want to play golf or basketball yet, but oh, cool. it's definitely definitely yeah. a idea. Well, congratulations and thanks for being here. Thank you, Coach. Again, as I mentioned, eight and two going into uh, next week. Uh, plenty of schedule left for you guys. I mean, there's there's still a lot of basketball to be played, but kind of projecting forward to the sectional play. Kind of kind of take me through the sectional. Do you guys get realigned or reseated in the sectional? Uh, so our sectional has stayed the same, mm -hmm. um, and so you know we. Is that good or bad? Uh, I think for right now, uh, you know, I, I think yeah. that's good for us just because we're familiar with our sure, opponents. Sure, sure, absolutely. You know, and so, um, and we we've gotten more of our sectional opponents on the schedule this year. You know, we play South Decatur this year. Right. We haven't played them before, um, but you know, we're. Um, Really, we think our sectional is wide open, mm -hmm. and so, you know, but even though we've already beat North Decatur and Milan, those were two really close games, sure. and so, you know, we have to understand that nothing's going to be a cakewalk, mm -hmm. and, and while um, bringing home a sectional championship is one of our team goals, sure. um, it, it's going to take a lot to get there, mm -hmm. and so, um, you know, the, the rest of the year up until that point, you know, no matter how tired we are or, you know, how much we need a break or, or whatever it is, we've got to come to practice every day mm -hmm. and get better and stay focused. You, you've seen it a thousand times, and everybody has. Teams will have very, very much success during the regular season and then just falter in the tournament. And you don't want to let a good regular season kind of ruin your sectional. Right. And I think that has to do with just mentality. Sure. Um, you know, I think, and hopefully physically, you know, we're all healthy and, and, and ready to go. But um, I, I think our mentality, and I think that's the coach's job, just to, um, you know, hit on that every single day leading up until that point. Um, but, you know, I, I think with the group that we have, um, I'm not sure that'll be an issue. Right. Because, uh, like I said, you know, we're competitors. Um, you know, we're, we're going to fight and we're going to grind it out. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we – we especially don't like losing to some of the teams in our section. Right. So, yeah. um, you know, that is, is just an instant fuel to the fire. You uh, And, again, you, you've got plenty of basketball to be played. You've got the Rumble coming up and then a, a pretty healthy schedule in January as well. Yeah. Um, you know, our, our second half of the season is um, it's going to be tough, mm -hmm. you know. And so um, I'm excited to see uh, what we do against some of those teams, sure. you know, in the second half of our season. Um, and But, you know, as, as long as long as we keep playing with the effort and the fight and, and just grinding things out like we have been, um, you know, even if we were to lose some of those games, sure. if our effort is there, you know, that's a win in our book. Mm -hmm. So, um, but but hopefully right. we do continue to head in the direction that, that we're going in. Building your best basketball at the end of the season. That's what everybody wants to do. Absolutely. 
easier said than done sometimes. Yes, it is, but we'll keep working. <laughs> That's right. Coach, we appreciate being on this morning. Thank you, Tim. All right. Again, want to say thanks to Devin Briley for being on. Also, uh, Senior Bella Markham on this morning. And thanks to you for listening. It is Coach's Corner, live from McDonald's on Madison's Hilltop here on Works 96.7.